So let's go ahead and calculate the inventory turnover ratio for this company. As I to quickly remind, inventory turnover ratio will be given by cost of goods sold divided by average inventory. So why average inventory? I'll come to that in a moment. But what is this average made of? So is it daily average or monthly average? From a balance sheet, the best you can get is you can calculate this by year beginning inventory, year beginning inventory plus year ending inventory divided by two. This is how this is what you can calculate from a given balance sheet. You will not get a monthly outstanding or a uh, daily outstanding. So this is the best you can do. Also, why average inventory or why not year beginning? The year beginning, I mean, few, few analysts accept year beginning, few analysts accept year ending, few analysts accept average inventory. So why year beginning? What is the logic for using year beginning inventory? The logic for using year beginning inventory is the money you actually invested in money you actually invested in business is what you invested at the beginning of the year. Let's say the company had 100 rupees of inventory at beginning of the year and at the end of the year the company had an inventory of 150. During the year let's say the say cost of goods sold have been 500. So the logic for using beginning of the year inventory is the money you actually blocked at the time of time you started the business is only 100. So they, hence it may make sense to use beginning of the year inventory. Right? However, there is another school of thought. This increase in inventory from 100 to 150 could not have happened. The increase could not have happened in one day that is the last day this increase would have been a gradual process this increase could have been a gradual process for example at the end of first month it would be 105 at the end of second month it would be 110 so on and so forth it came to 150 over 12 months on a gradual process so in this sense the first month it is 100 second month it is 105 so at the end of first month, your investment is not 100 but 105. At the end of second month, your investment is 110 and not 105. Right? So your investment actually keeps on increasing every month. So if you were to calculate asset turnover ratios monthly and then accumulate it, then your number would be different because your investment increase over a period of time. So to account for this, what we do is we assume that it is a very very gradual increase from 100 to 150 and hence we use year average so if it has increased gradually over the year then the average would be the investment made on an average that is the investment or money blocked in the system over year that is the logic for using average what is the logic for using year end most probably you will be using year end because of lack of data for start of the year. So all the three methods, we, we said we can use three kind of uh, things, year beginning, year end and average. All the three are equally accepted. All the three are equally accepted. Only thing that you have to remember is you have to be consistent. Meaning, if you are using year beginning inventory for calculating 2011 turnover ratio, then you should be using the same year beginning for 2012 also. You can't use year end here and year beginning here. Then you are misinterpreting. Similarly, when you are comparing, comparing two companies, you cannot use year end for one company and beginning for another company. Then you will be misinterpreting. The only thing you have to remember is you have to be consistent in applying this. Fine. So let's go ahead and calculate the ratio. 
inventory turnover ratio cost of goods sold and average inventory so cost of goods sold it, it will be there in the income statement i have my income statement here cost of goods sold for 2011 is here 2012 i am just extending it average inventory for 2011 would be average of 2010 end and 11 end the inventory values are in balance sheet current asset section it is here so i am taking average of 2010 and 11 similarly i take average of 2011 and 12 so cost of goods sold by inventory is inventory turnover ratio so cost of goods sold divided by inventory right so this ratio has increased so is it good or bad as we just discussed higher the ratio better it is right so this ratio has increased from 10.9 to 12.2 meaning the company has managed this inventory in a better manner between 2011 and 2012 its efficiency has increased if you see here the average inventory has increased something like 7 or 8% whereas the cost of goods sold has increased something like 17 or 18% right so with the small increase in inventory they have generated they have produced much higher value of goods so the company is doing better so since inventory turnover has increased we can conclude the company is is becoming more efficient in managing its inventory this is how we have to look at inventory turnover ratio